Okay, students, welcome back to my class. Today we can study a new topic, human respiratory system. Before going to the chapter, I want to ask. So, we all need oxygen. You know that. We all need oxygen for respiration. From where we get this oxygen? Yes, it is from atmosphere. So, if the organism is simple, simple diffusion is there. So, through the body surface it can take space. But if the organism is complex, like human being, a well developed respiratory system is greater. So, today we can study how the respiratory system is organized in our body. What are the parts of human respiratory system? Okay. So, human respiratory system. The first part that is the nostril. Here you can see two holes that is the nostril. The first part. So, after the nostril, you can see a passage. And this passage is known as the nasal passage. So, this is the nasal passage. So, what is the second part? Nasal passage. If you observe, you can see small hairs there. And moreover, mucus is also present in the nasal passage. What is the role of it? Why these uh, hairs and mucus present in the nasal passage? So here, you know, the air is full of dust, contaminants, impurities, many things are there. If we inhale, all these substances enter our body and it will damage our system. So, to filter this air, these hairs and mucus is present. So, the most important point, the nasal passage has fine hairs, fine hairs and mucus is there. What is its role? It helps to filter the air. Filter the air. It is very important. What is the role of fine hairs and mucus present in the nasal passage? It helps to filter the air. Now we can move to the next part. That is the pharynx. This is the pharynx. So the third part is the pharynx. It is the cold passage. We already learned the, this pharynx in the digestive system also. Here you can see in the diagram, through this the food is coming, through this air is coming. So this is the cold passage for both food and air. Now you may think, why this food normally don't enter into the trachea during uh, uh, normal cases? Yes, there is another structure called epiglottis which have to cover the trachea while swallowing the food. So, in normal cases, the food will not enter into the winter pipe. That is why normally we say not talk or laugh while taking the food. Okay. Now we can move to the next part that is this bulge part that is known as the larynx. This is known as the larynx or the sound box. Next part, it continues as the tube and this is known as the trachea. This part is known as the trachea or wind part. Trachea or the wind part. If you observe the trachea, you can see small rings there. Rings of cartilage. What is the use of it? I will uh, tell you one example. Suppose if you want to uh, put some things in a polythene cover, fresh polythene cover, how will you open that? Either you rub it or blow air into it. Then only it will open. Similarly, this is the air passage. If there is less air, what will happen? The two walls get collapse. So to avoid such collapse, the trachea wall is supported by the rings of cartilage. So the next important point is the importance of cartilaginous rings. 
What is the importance? It helps to prevent the collapse of trachea walls. Okay. Now, look the trachea. What happens to the trachea? Then the trachea divides into two branches. These branches known as brocus. This is known as brocus. Brocus is singular and broca is singular. Okay. This broca, it enter into the lungs, which is our principal respiratory organ. Enter into the lungs. Now, the trachea again divides many branches, many fine branches. The branches and the branches. And these smaller branches are known as tracheoles. What is it called? Tracheoles. Now, each tracheole, it ends in a sac-like structure. A sacs are there. Many bunch of reed-like structures you can see inside the lungs. What is it called? It is known as the alveoli. So, the next part here, trachea, bronchus, then lungs. So, inside the lungs, alveoli is there. Alveoli is very thin. So, membrane is very thin and it is surrounded by a network, extensive network of blood capillaries. Because normally diffusion of or exchange of gases takes place through this alveoli. Okay. And another important thing, the lung is surrounded by, is protected by a membrane called pleura. The membrane of the lungs is known as pleura. Okay. And where this part, this lungs placed? It is here in our chest cavity or the thoracic cavity. And this thoracic cavity is separated from the abdominal cavity by an arch shaped diaphragm here at the base you can see the diaphragm you can see the diaphragm this diaphragm is very important during breathing process that will be discussed in the next class so these are the major parts of human respiratory system is it clear so which are the parts nostrils are there then nasal passage is there then pharynx then trachea then bronchi then lungs inside the lungs we can see the alveoli and there is an arch shaped diaphragm so that is up to the structure of human respiratory system so students you all watch this video study it well and if you have any doubt just ask and if if you, uh, if you uh, have any doubt, there is uh, no problem to ask. Don't hesitate to ask. And we will meet with the next topic. Children, bye. Take care.